I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. Today, a lot of us practice pranayama. A lot of us practice breath work. We know that breath, the prana, is life force. We know that we can live without food for a couple of days. We know that we can live without water for a couple of days. But oxygen? No, we need it. We need oxygen every second, every second of the day while we're awake, while we sleep, to reach trillions of cells that support life, that supports every single function in the human body. You're made up of trillions of cells. These cells need nutrients from the food that you eat and oxygen from the air that you breathe. Oxygen from the air that you breathe and the nutrients of, you, of your food become your raw material towards your cells. And it is your cells that power every single function in the human body. Today, we're gonna to learn a little bit of breath work, okay? To help you clear toxins from your body. We are accumulating toxins all the time from the air that we breathe, from the food that we eat. But technically today, we're gonna to look at how we can expel toxins that we take in with almost every breath that we breathe, especially if we live in cities, polluted areas, we're on the road, we're inhaling fumes from cars, Sometimes you've done up your house, you have fresh paint, you have varnish. Plywood has a lot of toxins in itself that we breathe in unconsciously. It's happening. If we sit down to break it down, we'll just be scared our entire life because everything around us seems toxic. This simple breath is very simple. I'm gonna explain how to do it, then we do it together. And you can practice it once a day, maybe four to six breaths. I usually prefer to do this in the morning when you wake up and once definitely before you sleep. Of course, you can add your other pranayamas and your breath work that you already do that makes you feel good along with this. You see, when we're breathing, we always usually focus on the inhales and the exhales. Today's process is very simple. <clears throat> While we take a deep inhale at our own pace, and remember, when we inhale, we want to breathe from the stomach, the diaphragm. It rises like a balloon. Always think you're breathing. Most people breathe from their chest. You need to breathe from your diaphragm. So think of a balloon. When you put air into a balloon, when you blow air into a balloon, it inflates. And when you deflate it, the air comes out. It's the same thing. As you inhale, okay, your belly needs to rise very gently. And as you exhale, your chest collapses, your diaphragm and your belly goes back in, okay? So that's just to go over the correct technique of breathing. Now, in this process of expelling toxins, this is what we do. While we take an inhale at a comfortable pace, you don't have to try to make it too deep. In fact, while you practice this, your inhales will automatically get deeper and deeper. Now, as you exhale, and all of this is through the nostrils, as you exhale, I want you to gently exhale. As you let everything come out of your nose, okay? Exhale until you have nothing left in you. Now, in our normal breathing, we usually miss this beautiful space. I call it a space of peace, a space of nothingness, and you'll understand why when you do it. A lot of you may have already experienced it. So as you exhale, empty out completely. And when you think you've emptied out completely, all I want you to do is suck your navel in towards your spine very gently. So it'll push out any excess air toxins in your system, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna inhale through your nostrils at a comfortable pace, and you're gonna keep your back straight. You can sit cross-legged in Vajrasana. You can even sit in a chair with a back support if you want. Whatever makes you comfortable. You can also do this lying down in a bed in case you're bedridden, in case you cannot sit up. You can even do this breathing exercise then. So you take a nice deep inhale at your own pace and then you exhale really slowly and gently. And when you feel there's nothing left to exhale, what you do, imagine yourself pulling your navel in towards your spine. So by that, you push out a little bit more of air that's in your lungs. Okay, now after you do that, you'll find that the next inhale comes a little quicker and that's normal. It's normal. If you try to expel too much, you may gasp for the next breath and you'll get it with practice. It's okay at first. All right, so now we'll all do it together. Sit with your back straight. What you want to do, because going back to that point, we all inhale. Observe your breathing right now. You inhale and you don't have a complete exhale. Most people don't even have a complete inhale. And as you practice this, you train the lungs to take in more oxygen and to expel more carbon dioxide and everything else that comes out with it. You understand that your lungs are a detoxification organ, like your skin, like your kidney, your liver, and your bowels. These are all five detoxification systems in the human body. So when someone tells you detoxification doesn't work, don't listen to them. The job of the lungs is to take in and give out toxins. Every cell that accepts oxygen and food will always have waste 
There will always be waste as a byproduct, and that has to come out of your system. What does that for you? Your liver, your kidney, your lymphatic system, your colon, your bowels. Okay, so now we'll sit with our back straight. All I want you to do is take in a small, a deep breath at your own pace. And then exhale. As you exhale, just go with your own pace until you feel there's nothing left to come out and do that gentle squeeze. If you've gone through any stomach surgery recently or you have a net in because of a hernia, you may want to be very gentle with this or don't do it right now until you get stronger and you have no more abdominal discomfort. If you have stitches in your abdomen, you don't want to do the squeeze part. The squeeze is also very gentle, but you just move your navel in. Okay, without the breath, let's try that. Just put your hand on your navel right now, okay, and suck your navel in towards your spine. Very gently, suck your navel in towards your spine. So that's the movement on the exhale. As you exhale completely and you feel there's nothing else coming out, you do the light squeeze and then you inhale again. So you can do about four counts of this to six counts. You don't really have to do more of that. When you do this, after that, you can continue with your normal pranayama or just simple breathing. By the time you've done four to six reps, you're gonna feel a very light calmness in your mind. And I want you to experience it by trying it. You only realize these things when you do it a beautiful calmness. So if you don't have any more breath work to do after this, these four to six breaths, it's a nice stage to close your eyes. You can do this breathing exercise with your eyes closed as well and slip into a peaceful meditation. It's far easier to center yourself with your breath before you start meditating. So you may wanna try four to six breaths. Okay, this is also great before you sleep because it kind of calms you down, moves you from the sympathetic nervous system to the parasympathetic nervous system, and that's how it works. So I'll repeat the whole process again. You can do it An inhale, back straight, and inhale, slow, long, deep inhale at your own pace, and then you exhale until you find nothing else coming out. As you exhale, you notice there's a space, a space between the exhale and your next inhale. That is a beautiful space which you will find beauty in as you start to practice this more and more. So once there's no more air coming out of you, do the little squeeze. Imagine yourself pulling your navel in towards your spine that expels all the balance air and then follow it with a natural inhale. The inhale will happen automatically after you do the little squeeze. These are little powerful things. We're actually meant to breathe this way naturally. But because where our mind is constantly working, thinking, we're moving from one thing to another, every once and fast forward, we forget to breathe the right way. But while you practice this, you'll automatically find that in meetings and arguments, when you're stressed out, your breathing is actually getting more and more solid. The inhales and exhales are becoming deeper and deeper. So your problems may still be there, but your cortisol and adrenaline is much lower in your system. And that is what the magic is to keep inflammation low in the human body. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep, and remember, you care is all about you.